Here are payroll scenarios. Week ending 24 October payroll has been set up in zero. The employees have been paid, pay slips were sent, assuming STP has been filed to the ADO. The issue is Odette noticed she was paid 27 hours only instead of 32 hours. Odette, the employee, immediately reported it to Grant, the bookkeeper, stating her pay is incorrect. Grant, after investigating that Odette's claim is valid, he then assured her that proper adjustment will be done so she gets paid correctly. Grant has the option to include the missing hours on the next pay run, but he opted to create an unscheduled pay run to fix Odette's pay. So how does Grant create an unscheduled pay run in zero? To demonstrate, using the demo company, let's go to payroll, then pay employees, click add pay run, the, this time, we will use unscheduled pay run and we will select weekly calendar, the financial year auto populates, and then we select week ending 24 October 2023 and hit next. Let's click the radio dial for Odette Garrison and start editing the unscheduled pay run. So the hours, let's put 5 hours, which is the missing hours, same rate, and delete the other earnings line that are not applicable. The tax is auto-calculated as well as the super. And then the accrued annual leave also populates. Then hit save. The payslip was updated. So let's post the pay run. So with that action, there will be two pay runs for week ending 24 October 2023. The first one being the original where Odette was uh, paid 27 hours and then the next one is the unscheduled pay run that was just set up just now and then grant will process an additional net pay of $81 from the business bank account that is to pay Odette's pay adjustment for the October 24 pay run. So that's how to create an unscheduled pay run for a pay adjustment in zero.